What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to respond to Lewis Rossman. Now I've been a fan of his channel for a while now, uh, but he released a video this morning that basically says, am I wrong about CompTIA certifications? And he made two points within this video. Now the first point, I agree with the right to repair. I, re I agree with his stance on that. Uh, at the end of the day, if you buy a product, you should have the right to repair it because you own it at that point. So I 100% agree with him. And I'm, like I said, I've been following uh, Lewis Rossman for a number of years now. Uh, I really enjoy his content and what he shows, you know, as far as helping people learn and understand how to repair their products that they purchase with their own money. Now, the second point he made was dealing with CompTIA certifications. And basically what he was saying was it's almost like a grift, which I can understand, you know, you kind of saying that being that you took the test, you know, years ago, because uh, within his video, he was talking about certain technology that's not really relevant to today. But one thing we, we all have to remember, CompTIA, when they create these certifications, uh, they update those tests every three years. I'm not sure when the last time you took that. Uh, certification uh, Lewis but the A plus certifications is is updated every three years well pretty much all their certifications they reevaluate it to make sure that the information is relevant to today now I understand you know A plus may not be relevant especially to people that already have a basic understanding of IT but not everyone is on that level and the A plus basically is designed to validate your foundational skills in IT and it covers hardware Software, software networking and security just the base levels and those skills are essential you know for those entry-level IT support roles including like help desk technicians desktop support as well as field technicians and like I said in my comment under his video not everyone stores at the same level and so in order to get people up to speed in order to understand how this technology works computers in general and the fundamentals in order for them to support it then they need tests like this to get people up to speed so they can do those jobs. Now, one other thing I want to point out, like I said, CompTIA re-evaluates a lot of these certifications every three years or so, but the A-plus certification does cover current technologies um, nowadays, the, the current tests. And that's why I say, when was the last time you actually took the exam? Because it covers like cloud computing, mobile devices, as well as virtualization, which are essential skills in today's tech job market. And it also provides the foundation for the higher level certifications in order for you to get into higher positions. So like the Network Plus, for instance, the Security Plus, uh, definitely that'll allow you to work with the government when it comes to meeting that 8570 requirement. And like I said, these jobs are in very high demand. And like I said, I'm not trying to go at Lewis, but I'm just trying to put the information out there for people that are interested in this topic as far as the certifications go. A lot of IT professionals that I talk to on a daily basis, I interview, they always point out that those A plus certifications or those CompTIA certifications have helped them secure positions, uh, especially if you don't have a base understanding of computers in general which i know that's not a lot of your audience lewis a lot of people you know they're into the right to the repair they understand the way the base level understanding of how the system actually works and functions in order to repair it and you put out great information to help people with that but i'm mainly speaking towards people that are trying to get into the field because those certifications have done a lot to help people get into those fields now, just to give a little background on myself, I've been working in the IT field for 15 years or so, and I always forget to, to throw out my credentials. I currently work as a database administrator. Now, I did not take the A plus exam. I did not get that certification because I went to and got an associate's degree, which covered a lot of that. Uh, my associate's degree was in computer networking, which I got a base understanding of computers, everything that would be covered in CompTIA A plus the hardware side as well as the software side I got that from a degree that I got uh, a number of years ago so I skipped those certifications and that's what I try to tell people it depends on your experience you can skip those certifications it's not required for you to get a job if you already understand the information you already have uh, some experience in other ways similar to me as far as school then you can skip certain certifications and go into those 
certifications that are more relevant to the job that you're pursuing. And basically, at the end of the day, my whole point for making this video is that the A plus certification is still relevant in today's tech job market. Because like I said, it's updated. You know, it's been updated over the years uh, and it pertains to the relevant technologies that are currently being used in today's market. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Lewis Rossman. Uh, I really love and enjoy what you do, you know, and the fight, fighting a good fight, especially on the right to repair. That's super dope, man. You're doing a great job. Uh, keep it up. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it checked.